Apparently, the Ontario government says they're continuing their efforts in their negotiations with the feds on getting a daycare deal, but Halton Hills Council says that it's taking too long. So they decided to pass a resolution that would put more pressure on the province to get the deal done. Whereas childcare spaces in Halton Hills and across Ontario have decreased as a result of the pandemic, and the lack of childcare spaces is a barrier to our economic recovery. That is just part of the motion Halton Hills Mayor Rick Bennett read at the February 7th Council meeting to show their support for the federal $10 a day child care program and urging the Ford government to sign the deal. Councillor Clark Somerville says the most expensive place for child care in Canada is Ontario. And how for some people it can easily be the difference of them going back to work or it's cheaper to, to stay at home and not going back to work. And it's funny because right now, because there are so many people still working at home, I did hear from people when the schools were, were not, like when they were doing virtual learning, and then they were going back, they were saying it was now costing them that much more. Education Minister Stephen Lecce was in Milton on Monday announcing funding for a new public school and daycare. During questions with the media, we did ask Lecce the status of negotiations with the federal government. He says discussions have been constructive in ensuring the feds understand Ontario's unique needs. Uh, much of uh, building in Ontario costs more uh, and there's a variety of new influences including the very comprehensive nature of Ontario's childcare system and so we want some of that recognized in the agreement and we're hoping with the federal government we can get that deal done ASAP so that in the next fiscal year which is really you know April we're able to see a very meaningful 50 percent rate reduction which would be for families like yours and others like thousands of dollars of savings which would be a great thing and a needed thing to support our recovery. In the meantime, Halton Hills Council passed the motion unanimously, with Councillor Somerville saying he hopes that other municipalities will follow their lead.